Hello, my name is Pilani Bupu and welcome to another series of bathroom deco tips with builders. More and more people are looking for simple DIY solutions to refresh their home designs. Today we'd like to share with you a simple way that you can give your bathroom a refresh using Fide Earth's Blend Cement. I have with me Ziad, who's a builder's contractor, and he'll show us how you can achieve this look with just a few simple steps. Ziad, you ready? Always. Let's start with step one. So you prep yourself first, firstly by removing any fixtures and fittings necessary, and then using your blend pre-wash cleaner and just a scrubbing brush. And if you have to, then you use it straight as is, otherwise you dilute it with water. But you gotta let this dry for 12 hours. So after you're using your pre-wash, you make sure you rinse off the clean water and then leave for 12 hours to dry. Now, in terms of like getting really sparkling clean, because you know, if you don't clean and you don't use this pre-wash, it might not, I guess, stick or kind of like seal. It won't adhere to the surface, especially if you're doing it over tiles. You got to make sure that in between your tiles where your grout lines are, you use not a scrubbing brush, maybe a toothbrush, a toothbrush for yeah. example. And the next step would be then to prime the surface. Mm -hmm. So you prime the surface using your same mixture that you already have. You add your blend thinning agent to that mixture to create a paintable consistency, okay. which you then apply onto the surface using a mohair roller, preferably. Um, Expensive. Not at all, not from Bulldogs. Right. What are the things that we need to consider in this consistency? I mean, what should that feel like? You know, there's different kinds of sort of density and things. You would have likened it to what? Like, it should look like paint? Correct. Slightly more viscous than paint, yeah. I'd say. So it's easy to apply. Okay, so you'd start off applying your first coat using a steel trowel. A way that you'd apply rhinolite, basically, or plastering. And you'd use your trowel in a way that you'd uh, want to get your desired result. For example, it will give you the look that you're going for, will depend on how you move your trowel. So you're saying that it's practically like art? Yes, yeah? and that will make your uh, bathroom, kitchen for example, will be unique. If you're applying it over tiles, which is normally your case in bathrooms, is to make sure that you fill the grout line. So you take your normal blend mixture, add more powder to it to make, make it a bit thicker, and then fill the grout lines with it to get a smooth and level surface. So this is what your product would look like after priming and first coat. You have to put a minimum of two to three coats. Mm -hmm. Okay, what happens next? So once you apply, what, how do you kind of create a consistency? So you've got to sand down using a 150 grit sandpaper. And before applying the second or third coat, make sure that the first coat is hard and dry enough yeah. before you apply your second coat. Mm, that makes sense. And then what happens next? After your final coat, you've got to leave it for 48 hours to dry before applying your sealer. You get two types of sealers. You get the essential sealer, which is for light duty services, and you get your extreme sealer, which is for your heavy duty services. Mm -hmm. You'd and apply heavy duty would be what the tiles. It would be more floor and uh, tabletops okay. and so on. Then, after third coat, you leave your product for forty-eight hours minimum to cure before applying your sealer. Right. A sealer as well, two to three coats, three coats being your maximum, and you're good to go. Same amount of time between coats on the sealer? So you just wait till it's touched dry, two to three hours, mm -hmm. and then you can apply a second coat of sealer, third coat maximum. Sounds amazing. Thank you so much, Sia. It's a pleasure. Well, there you have it, a real labor of love and a home project that you can explore. We hope that you've enjoyed that demonstration. Visit your builders to explore tangible but simple ways to redecorate by consulting our experts. So get to builders and get it done.